guys, big Saturday here, as I'm guessing a lot of you you people have. Uh, for me, it's a 3.30 start in training, so up even before that with a 7.15 finish, and then whipping our three boys off to soccer until lunchtime. That all finishes, and um, just had a quick time slot, so thought I'd share another thought that's coming to my head. My head's getting hammered with them, I hope. I'm not a bit, uh, bit too prolific with these, but I like to get them down before I forget them. So um, today's one is on selling yourself short, something I see quite a lot of, and if getting a point across is best done in a story, then that's what I'll, sh I'll share one with you now. Um, back in, well, 1990 would have been, Brett Sutton said to me after a little race at Coffs Harbour, he, he pulled me aside and he said, mate, why don't you hop on, our, I'll hop on my team bus now and come back to the Gold Coast with me and train with my group, and we'll see if we can make a champ out of you. And I, as much as I was flattered, I, I kindly knocked Brett back on that offer. I was working in the family business, and I was always working um, as a triathlete back in the day. I might have raced in the pro category, but I was never a professional athlete, uh, literally. So I kindly knocked that back, and then some 20 years later, when Brett again kindly offered to, to mentor me in the capacity of a coach, uh, suggesting my background as a bit of a B-grade pro was, was the most suitable to make me um, a coach that he, he thought could become world class, which is always his goal um, in mentoring coaches. Uh, yeah, so he made that offer, and obviously I've jumped at that, but when he made it, he said, mate, I, I offered you to get on my bus once before. This is your second chance. Don't knock this one back. So as I said, I jumped at it. And then... I was invited to Thailand for a, a then Team TBB training camp with his pros. And being a 40 plus something bit busted up age grouper who's essentially just trained like um, an age grouper all through my life really, um, because I, I maintained a job like you guys. I was given sort of, if Brett, Brett wanted me to partake in the week just to get a feel for how he goes about things. Bit of a reality check, but it was modified. Uh, but it was still a big jump up for me, that 10 days. And he, and he cast an eye on me through this week, and funnily enough, we're sitting there at the end of the week, I think we were sitting there having a, a, something to eat at one of his favourite restaurants called The Fat Duck. Um, he likes to frequent healthy joints like that. Um, and, and I think Brett, Brett said to me something along the lines of, um, mate, after... Watching you the whole week long, he said, in terms of natural ability, I don't think you've got any. And even if you jumped on my bus way back in the day, I'm not sure I could have made any more out of you than you happened to make out of yourself. And I didn't know if that was a shot at me or a compliment uh, at my what I made of myself and um, or my ability to coach myself as well. So I think in the end, I decided I was rather flattered by it and that maybe I should be satisfied with what, what I did or, or didn't achieve. And let me reiterate that I was what I class as a B-grade pro who um, happened to have some ha a handful of outperformances for myself that turned myself inside out and had a, a few really big breakthrough races. But in terms of consistent performance, it just wasn't there. Um, but the whole point of this discussion is what if I'd been told that when I was 18 or 16 when I started triathlon? How would things have been different? You know, if I'd bumped into Brett then, and certainly I knew of Brett from 19 years of age or so, but what if at 16 we crossed paths and he, he told me that very thing? How far would I have gone in terms of tapping my own potential? You know, and, and let me say, I've had this, arg not argument, but I've discussed this very thing with some wives of some mates of mine actually over dinner and they'd say to me, oh, you're so talented, you're so talented. And I'd say, that's horseshit. Because I was a kid at school running 10.45 in the 3,000 metres um, against the equivalent sort of athletes as your Greg Bennett's and your Simon Whitfield who would have been running, I don't know, definitely under nine minutes and probably closer to 8.40ish and your Chris McCormack's going eight and a half or whatever he, he's written in his book. I think it's better than that. But yeah, well better. But uh you know, that's, I didn't have any talent. I, I just had a work ethic that probably took me to closer to my maximum potential. But yeah, natural talent, uh, 
next to none. So if I'd heard that, you know, early on, how limited would I have been and how more compromised would my results have been? So I'm just trying to tell you guys that I think so many of us have a lot more in us than we believe and, and or know and and you just sell yourself short. So don't, uh, you know, don't cap yourself mentally on what your, what your true capabilities might be. Cheers.